Afrikaan. The wilderness trail on the Botswana side of Halhadi over to the South African side is a 160 km trip through the Kalahari bushveld. This is a one-way road. You need special permission and a party of minimum two vehicles to take it as it is so rarely used. But what a ride, probably the most remote I've ever been which was a thrill in itself. It is slow going through the bush and eventually we had to camp somewhere in the middle after a full day of riding the dunes. Both central Kalahari and Halahari is part of the Kalahari Desert and is home to an estimated population of at least 1500 lions. So far I've had the pleasure of meeting a few of these individuals and forever preserving their memory with my camera. I think this serves as a good reminder to keep, expand and maintain these existing habitats for these wild lions that is currently under threat by dwindling habitats and human-lion conflict. If you're interested to know more, Lion Recovery Fund plays an important role shining light on challenges these big cats face and doing something about it. I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out. It's one of my favorite organizations for lion conservation. The next day we reached the old dry riverbed of the Nossob River and we have made it to the other side, miraculously without car trouble. This is the riverbed of the Nossob River that hasn't been, there hasn't been water here for thousands of years. That was a terrible guess on my part. It last flowed in the 1960s actually. It's looking really good, I'm, I, I can't wait to spend at least one week here. I saw, just saw some line tracks as well. Which is good! Yeah, boy! So, fantastic. I think this is a great spot to end the trip and conclude my project. Here, at Nossab, Lion Country, boys and girls. Now, this side of the reserve was very different from Mabua. The roads were excellent and accessible. Even small cars could drive the main roads here. The Nossa Breast Camp is also quite nice and even has a gas station and a small shop. This was very convenient and with me having no fridge, I now had access to cold drinks and fresh foods, which was great after all those canned beans. What a luxury. And there were lions. Lots and lots of lions. This is amazing. Two big males and three lioness. And people, lots and lots of people, and lots and lots of cheetahs. I have to admit that this side of the park seemed more like a zoo than in the wild. I'm not complaining about seeing all these lions, not at all. It was just so different from the wilderness I experienced in central Kalahari and Mabua. At a place called Two Rivers, there is an even bigger camp complex with another gas station, a restaurant and even a pool. And when there's a pool, take advantage of it. Always. Since this is a park shared between Botswana and South Africa, Botswana also has some camps here that are out in the open, much like in Mabua. The South African camps are all fenced, but we had a few nights in both Polenswa and Roypots that took me right back to feeling that this was in the wilderness. We also had a camp jackal sneaking up on us to steal our food scraps. Did you find anything else in the bowl? Did you? There's another one. Sneaky jackal. The days passed and I was spoiled with more lion sightings. I had seen over 100 different lions since I started the photo project five months ago. And this side of the Halahadi reserve was in the lead by far. I saw a cheetah this morning. Yesterday we had 10 lions just yesterday so Halahadi is a spot for big cats no doubt about it it's easy to think that getting 12 male lion portraits is no problem when you see this many lions i had reached my goal with these portraits and it had been five months of hard work early mornings it's five in the morning. and more car trouble than i'd like to admit coming to Halahadi had been the grande finale in a sense to be fair, I got some decent shots and I think this lioness is my favorite image. As for the portraits of the males, I got a few, but the light was all wrong most of the time. I had a nice day in Polenswa, Royputz and Nossop, but somewhat it felt more like a zoo than the wild Africa like I mentioned. No complaints, I'm just saying. 
despite easy access to cold drinks, fresh food and a filling station. I did miss the wilderness of central Kalahari and Mabua. Next up is the 10th and final episode in this series and this African adventure. Thoughts and reflections I had about these 6 months in Botswana, looking for and photographing wild lions. And I'd like to say thank you to everyone that has joined me on this adventure in every episode so far. Doing this had been a dream of mine for many years, and I used my camera as an excuse to give this adventure purpose. Also to show you guys what spectacular wilderness we have left in the world, and in the southern Africa. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye!